in a city known for well constructed roads, proper drainage channels, and road signals. The lack of adequate street lighting poses significant risks to residents using various forms of transport. Residents along Entebbe Road, particularly in Chiwi and Namasuba, have expressed worries about increasing accidents due to insufficient lighting and lack of signage, endangering both riders and drivers at night. <laughs> Akanyako, Teba Kaziba, Waka, Ravida, Neva Koma, Neva Kateka Kachin to Chiringach for Foment, Chirioko. Chiverich Baba and Twenchani Guru moving Yaneva Menyaka. Both Kampala Capital City Authority and Uganda National Roads Authority acknowledge the complaints and vow to address them promptly. I've taken lessons from now. So we have not only stopped there. We are continuing with some of the programs, for example, to improve uh, safety, especially for the night economy. And one of the things we are doing is that we are continuing to, to replace curbs where they are not there. We are going to paint them like you've seen if you go around Kampala, you've seen some we have continued the exercise. Even as I speak now, we have a team which is outside. So in addition to painting, the, replacing the curbs and painting them, we are also uh, continuing to provide street lighting where we think in some of these is what I would call black spots eh? to ensure the people are doing business at night and night economy, people are safe. The area in Namasuba and perhaps others missing, reflections will be added onto those pavements. Maurice Kairania, the engineer of the Roads and Drainage Department at KCCA, emphasizes that road upgrade works are ongoing and solicits the public's cooperation. You may notice, for example, if you go back to some of these places where our teams were working, especially the silting teams, the ones trying to widen the channels, they are still on site and they are still working. In other news, Alan Sempewa, the public relations officer at UNRWA, revealed plans to install traffic lights at the newly opened Kampala flyover by the year's end to mitigate confusion among motorists. So preparation of the traffic uh, signal components is ongoing and some actually still under production and will be brought in as and when they are ready. Meanwhile, Temporary measures, including deployment of traffic police, have been implemented. So you're going to see barricades introduced in that area very soon, and you're going to see more deployment of traffic police in that area. But again, that is for the interim, because the permanent solution is to have traffic signals, signalization of the different intersections. Sempewa appeals to all flyover users to exercise caution and drive responsibly. Right where we are standing, for example, this is temporary. So we've made provisions for temporary signage, uh, clearly showing that border borders are not permitted to use this section of the flyover. That is the underpass. The Kampala flyover project inaugurated during the non-aligned movement summit to ease traffic congestion remains ongoing with the roads at Clock Tower still under construction. Justin Nakami in Kampala.